Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this problem, which is the following. An eight-foot board costs 75 cents per foot is cut into two pieces. One piece is two feet longer than the other side. How much does the longer piece cost? All right, so this is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now, before I show you the answer, let's take another quick look at the problem. So an eight-foot board costs 75 cents per foot is cut into two pieces. The longer piece is two feet longer than the shorter piece. So how much does the longer piece cost? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following, $3.75, and the longer piece is five feet feet. All right. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. And you'd be like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not quite sure how to solve this problem. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step that you always want to take when you're trying to figure out a math word problem is to read it at least three times. Because if you just read a problem one time, that's simply not enough to absorb all the information and to make sure you understand the question. So read it at least three times and then you wanna to try to model or visualize or represent the information in the problem. Okay, so here we have this eight foot board. It costs 75 cents per foot and we're, uh, we're gonna cut it into two pieces. So I'm thinking about a board that uh, I cut into two pieces. Now we're gonna have a short side and a long side because one piece is two feet longer than the other side. So the question here is how much does the longer piece cost? All right, so I'm thinking about a board that I can kind of sketch out here and then kind of you know put this information you know next to that little sketch and then think about how can I solve this problem? All right, so here is an eight foot board. I'm gonna cut it into two pieces. So here is the short side and here is the long side. Now I know that the board costs 75 cents per foot. Now if I know how long this uh, longer piece is, all I have to do is multiply it by 75 cents and then I'll get the total cost of the longer piece in dollars. All right, so that is my strategy. I need to figure out how long is this uh, longer piece once I take this eight foot board and cut it into two. All right, so I am going to be using algebra to solve this problem. Now, notice I didn't say solve the algebra word problem because a lot of people don't like algebra and particularly that they don't like algebra word problems. So if you solve this problem without algebra, that is fantastic. But algebra is a tool. It just makes things so much easier. All right, so here is my eight foot board and uh, I'm gonna let the variable X here uh, represent the length of the shorter uh, side uh, once I cut this eight foot board in two. All right, so X will be the length of uh, the short side in feet because the longer side is two feet longer than the shorter side. So the longer side is X plus two. All right, now that I have this variable X, I can't solve for this uh, variable unless I can construct an equation. So do you see some sort of way we can construct an algebraic equation to solve for the variable X? Hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, this is easy because here, if we take the short side and we add it to the long side, the total, right, the short side plus the long side is the total length of the board. And we know that that's eight feet. So this plus this is equal to eight. All right, so that is the equation that we're going to set up. And now we can solve for X. Okay, so X plus X plus two is equal to eight. Not a difficult equation to solve. Let's go ahead and solve it right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is add like terms. So we have X and X, that's 2X. So we have uh, 2X plus two is equal to eight. Then we're gonna go ahead and subtract two from both sides of the equation. So we have 2X is equal to six. And to solve for X, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by two. So six divided by two is three. So X is equal to three. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. 
I also cover thousands of problems with a full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we know that x is equal to 3, we can actually calculate the lengths of these two pieces of this 8-foot board. All right, so recall that x uh, represents the length of the shorter piece, so that's 3 feet, and x plus 2 is the longer piece, so that's going to be 3 plus 2, or 5 feet. All right, so now that we know the lengths of both pieces of this 8-foot board, we can calculate the cost of that longer side. All right, so this is pretty simple because recall from the problem that each foot cost us 75 cents. So this eight foot board costs 75 cents per foot. So in other words, for every foot of this board, you have to pay 75 cents. So this five foot section right here, the total cost is going to be five times 75 cents. Now our answer can be in cents or it can be in dollars. Matter of fact, I gave the final answer in terms of dollars. But if you wrote down in the comment section 375 cents, well, that is correct. And 375 cents is equivalent to $3.75. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final step, which, of course, is taking that 5 and multi multiplying it by 75 cents per foot. Okay, now uh, 75 cents, again, this right here is in cents, so our answer will be 375 if we take 75 times 5. Now remember, again, you have to be careful with the units of measure. So this is uh, that uh, answer right there is in cents. Now a lot of you uh, will be like, well, this is easy because I know there's 100 cents in a dollar. So I can convert that to $3 or 75 cents. Or you can take this uh, 75 cents per foot and write that as a dollar. Okay, so 75 cents is equivalent to 0.75 of a dollar because there's 100 cents in a dollar. So 75 over 100 is equal to 0.75 of a dollar. All right, so once again, 75 cents is 0.75 of a dollar. So now when we do this multiplication, 0.75 times 5, we'll get $3.75. All right, so again, I think a lot of you could have uh, solved this problem without algebra, but this is a nice basic algebra word problem. We're using concepts here like linear equations. And if you need additional help in algebra, I have two courses I like to recommend. My first is my pre-algebra course, and my second uh, recommendation is my Algebra 1 course. I'm going to leave links to both of these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.